A Roseville woman facing challenges during the pandemic wrote about her concerns in a letter to President Joe Biden. She was laid off from a San Francisco company months ago, but she wanted to teach her daughter the power of the pen. As NBC Bay Area's Marianne Favreau reports, she never expected that the president himself would respond by calling her on the phone. Hello. Michelle. Hi, Mr. President. This was the beginning of Michelle Volkert's 20-minute conversation with President Joe Biden, a conversation that almost didn't happen. When the Biden team did call me, I, I actually hung up because I thought it was spam. So I am glad that they tried me back. The 47-year-old mom from Roseville says the phone call was a result of a letter she wrote after watching both the recent violence at the Capitol and President Biden's inauguration. She says she wanted to set an example for her daughter. Just in writing the letter was to just show an example to my daughter, to just say, hey, you know, you can write a letter. A well-written letter will get you farther than, you know, storming the Capitol and throwing rocks through a window. Michelle was featured as the first guest in President Biden's revamped weekly address. The White House posted part of her conversation on Twitter today. And even Michelle's daughter, Maddie, got a chance to talk with the president. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Michelle says she was laid off in the summer from her job at Stitch Fix in San Francisco. She says she talked with the president about some of the same things she had put in her letter, how tough it was losing a job for the first time in her life, and the challenges she's facing navigating unemployment and struggling to find a new job during the pandemic. He talked a little bit about the American Recovery Plan, which, um, you know, would certainly extend unemployment benefits, which would help, you know, folks like me, women like me. Michelle says she hopes her chat with the president will provide him even more incentive for change. Now that he knows what a mom from Roseville, California is going through um, and shedding light on what other moms are going through, you know, I hope that that helps build some momentum to getting some of this, these policies passed. Marianne Favreau, NBC Bay Area News.